Hi, I'm Lisa Martin with Pampered Chef and welcome to my Keto Kitchen. Um, I'm going to be showing you what we're going to be doing with the brownies that we made earlier. Uh, so we made the Keto Brownies homemade. I got this beautiful thing for my husband for Mother's Day and Easter and I am so excited to have this beauty. But what I'm going to do is, so they came out nice and thick. Look how thick that is. And I'll taste one, but I want to cut them up first. What you do is, what we're going to do is, we're going to cut them in half. We're going to make a cream to go inside, and we're going to have ice cream sandwiches. With the weather getting so nice, you kind of want ice cream. And there's really not a whole lot out there without a lot of preservatives in it. And if you're going to eat that, you may as well eat the other kind with preservatives. I'm trying to do better. So I went and got me... <laughs> I made this up and it is so good and what you freeze it and then that's what makes it like an ice cream sandwich and I've made these before but I bought a pint so what we're going to do is use a pint of it and I'm going to put it in this beauty right here okay first I've got to put the yes this is so nice because you choose these you know oh, it, this I've been wanting for a long time and my husband just went and spoiled me with it. And then mine came with this so it doesn't splatter all over here when you're putting things in it. So I'll put it back down and then lock it into place. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on, put this on real low and start pouring this in. I'm gonna pour the whole thing. Sometimes it's just better to get it already pre-measured. It's quick and fast. Okay, then to sweeten it up, I'm gonna use three quarters of a cup of sweetener and you just use sweetener of your choice um so i'm gonna pour it i love this pour three quarters of a cup in it i don't think i could do without this <laughs> all right and i'm just gonna slowly put this in here so it mixes good i'm gonna increase it just a little bit so it can start making the ice cream you can put chocolate in this you can flavor this with any kind. You can put chocolate chips in this. You can put fruit in here. There is so much that you can do with these. But what I've done is I've cut some of these in half, like this, like so. You cut them in half, just kind of eyeball it in half. And they're soft because they just come out of the oven, so they are a little hard to handle. If you get some that crumble on you because you didn't save it because we'll have extra of this that you can use and just make like a put it in a bowl and eat it that way it's good that way too but these are so flavorful let me take a taste just to make sure mm, I wish you could smell my kitchen right now we're browning the hamburgers that I just made um, they're browning and then these just came out of the oven we're making the whipped cream or the ice cream type thing. But like I say, you can do all kinds of things with this. Just make sure it's up a little bit. And some people say, I bought this cookies and cream and I've not used it yet, but you pour it into it and it makes your ice cream, homemade ice cream like this, taste just like cookies and cream are in there so try it out you might want to get it and use it I've left it you know so I'm gonna try it today we'll try it together we'll pour it in here give it that taste they said you only need a couple dots and it's gonna change the color of course but that's okay it'll look like chocolate I think I'm gonna put a couple if one is good surely two or three would be good and you don't overbeat it, you just, but boy, does this make it so much easier than you saw where my other mixer just went out on me. Um, it got all clogged up. One of the um, beaters got stripped. <laughs> so, you know, it, this couldn't have come at a better time, and I've been wanting one for a long time. But they're very, very, they're kind of expensive, and a pampered chef don't have these, so I can't earn one. I have to buy it. So this is nice. Okay, it's getting very firm. Okay. All right, we're 
almost ready to stop it. It looks so flavorful. I'll have to try it a little bit. Okay. I'm going to turn it off. Well, I like to... Oh, you can't... All right, so I'm going to have to lift it up and tilt it up. I see what I get to eat later. <laughs> Did you ever do that when you were small? Eat the beaters? We always stood in line for the beaters. Okay. And I'm still learning how to do all this. So I'm just going to show you. Now this locks in place, but look how nice they come out. Okay. Let me try it with the chocolate. Mmm. That. It's called Milk Magic Cookies and Cream. You've got to try that. That's awesome. It gives it a chocolate uh, flavor. Okay, what I'm going to do is get one of our batter. Okay, and I'm going to take the bottom. See the bottom? I'll let you see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm just going to take this scoop and scoop it on there. Oops. That sinks in. I don't know. See how it is? And then you're going to put the top on. Like so. And then when I get done with these, I'm going to wrap them in plastic and put them in the freezer. And it takes about, about two hours for it to freeze. But boy, do you have a good treat. Okay. I'm going to take another one. Just cut it in half. And you have to be careful because they're not, probably next time that what I'm going to do is probably put them in the fridge and let them, um, you know, harden up a little bit just in the fridge and then they'll be easier to scoop. But that's all you do. Look how nice of an ice cream sandwich that makes. And like I say, when it's frozen, they are so, so good. So you'll have to try that. Please give me a thumbs up, like my videos, and subscribe. And have a great day.